Well, hello, and welcome to the latest in our midweek devotional series called Eight Lies About God. Thinking about statements that sound true, but are actually lies. Lies that can greatly distort what we believe, what we think about God. So this week we're thinking about the statement, your feelings are reality. Your feelings are reality. Thinking about the idea that our feelings are a good guide to what is real. Our contemporary culture says things like, follow your heart. Or do whatever feels best. Perhaps something like, if it feels right, then it is right. But does how we feel actually change reality? I'm pretty scared of heights. If I'm standing on a balcony that is perfectly secure, which I know in my head is perfectly secure, I can still feel very unsafe, very unsecure, like... Uh, disaster is about to happen at any moment. Is that true? No, the balcony is secure and safe. Does feeling that, feeling that way, change the state of the balcony, that it is secure and safe? No. And yet that feeling can be overpowering. But as strong as that feeling is, it doesn't change the reality of my safety. And then let's be clear, the ability to feel and to respond to emotions has been given us by God. It is a good thing. God himself feels many emotions. We can read those in the Bible. Uh, emotions are a good indicator of, of real questions and concerns for us. How, are we coping well with this current situation? Uh, do I need to respond to something uh, right now? To feel and respond to emotions is a good thing. And they are very real and very powerful to, for us. However, they can often, if not lie to us, then they can certainly mislead us about the nature of reality. Specifically, today, they can mislead us about the nature of God. They can mislead us about our standing before him. On the one hand, someone might feel very secure and safe. They have uh, lots of money. They have a good job. They feel they've achieved great things. They are in control of their own lives. Of course, this is not true. We can lose everything in a moment. Our house may burn down. A loved family member may die. We can, we can lose our job. We can suddenly become ill. All these things that we rely on, rather than God, can be lost. And lost really quickly. But that feeling, that, that emotion of being secure and comfortable can lead us to ignore God and trust in ourselves. Now, this feeling is a lie. Any, any comfort and, and uh, sense of being in control of, of well-being is a lie. But our, our emotions have misled us in understanding the reality of our situation. On the other hand, we may feel very insecure in our lives, perhaps even hopeless about what the future holds. We may feel that life has no joy, that it's all downhill from here, that there's no meaning. Perhaps we may feel that things we have done are beyond repair, that the shame we feel is something that will be is we with us forever and will is justified. This is also not true. In Jesus, there is great hope for all people. When someone has placed their faith in Jesus, they are united with Him. Nobody has shown greater love for you. Nobody has your interests at heart more than He does. You are precious to Him. 
and he will hold you fast to the end of your life, whether that's five minutes time or a hundred years time. In Jesus, you have something that it is impossible to lose. In Jesus, you can have a hope that does not disappoint, where what lies ahead is always better. This lie that your feelings are reality tells us that how we feel about something makes it real or unreal. That our feelings, our feelings, if they're that powerful, means that what we're feeling must be true. If we feel that God is good, then he is good. If we feel that God is cruel, then God is cruel. Do not follow your feelings to determine the nature of these ultimate realities. Do not follow your heart. Our hearts are deceitful above all things. Whether you feel comfortable, whether you feel shame, whether you feel afflicted, whether you feel joyful, whether you, whatever it is that you are feeling, these feelings will come and go, but there is unchangeable reality at the centre of our universe. Jesus is that unchangeable reality. Friends, discover that reality. Discover that God is real. He does not change. He is completely loving and holy and perfect and kind and compassionate, and just, and patient, all-knowing. He's gentle, he's wise, he's open, he's authentic. Our emotions will change. God does not change. If you want to know more about that, if you want to know more about this unchanging God, and please call or email the office. We'd be like, we would be delighted to talk to you more about that.